What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of How to Hunt Out of State. So far we have done two episodes on the channel. If you miss those, make sure to go back and check those out. But today we're going to talk specifically about Kansas and how you can use GoHunt.com to help you not only apply, but hunt out of state in Kansas. All right, guys, first things first, go visit the website, gohunt.com forward slash insider. Sign up for a membership using the Hush promo code. When you guys sign up using the Hush code, you will receive $50 to the Go Hunt gear shop. That way you can get yourself some sweet new gear, anything from backpacks, tents, knives, etc. All right, if you guys followed along with the best season yet series that we did last fall, you saw that we did hunt Kansas. It was the first time for Casey, BMAC, and myself to hunt in the state. So we have already been through the application process. So we wanna show you guys real quick how you can use the Go Hunt Insider membership to help you apply and prepare to hunt Kansas. First thing I'd like to note about Kansas, it is highly made up of private land. So you're gonna to want to either explore an outfitter, um, get access to private land, whether that be asking permission or leasing property, or using their walk-in walk -in access program, which we'll get into more later in the video. All right, first things first, we recommend you go check out the Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism website, like so. First thing we're gonna do to get into this is click the hunting tab on the left side, scroll down to the almost the very bottom, and hit hunting regulations. So currently, Kansas has not updated their 2019 regulations, so we're just gonna take you to this page and show you the 2018 regulations just to give you an example of what it's like. So right here, if you wanna hunt out of state, for us, we wanna hunt Kansas and we wanna target mule deer. So simply click the deer tab and that will generate the PDF so you can download and look through the deer management maps, the units, the hunter education and age requirements and so on. So like I mentioned earlier, there is some difficulties with access in Kansas. So one thing you wanna do is go to this hunting tab on the far left again, click where to hunt which will bring you to this map. And if you scroll down to the bottom left portion of that area, you're gonna click the complete online hunting map. All right, so as soon as you hit that, this auto automated pop-up will generate. And one thing I wanna point out at the very bottom, and I'll read this for you guys, Kansas, landowners have voluntarily enrolled over 1 million acres in the WIHA program, which is the walk-in hunter access program. And so with that, we're just gonna click that we've read. There's all sorts of other information here you can read. Just click that tab that you have read and you agree to the terms and click OK and it will generate this map right here, which gives you an idea of where you can get started and in looking into uh, walk-in access land. All right guys, so if you zoom in and look closely on the map, you can see uh, little portions of land that are surrounded by a yellow line. That is your walk-in access land. Now, one cool thing about the access land is that um, commercial or guides and outfitters cannot use that land. So if you're truly wanting to do a do-it-yourself hunt, you're not gonna have to worry about competing with guides and outfitters in the program. So if that is something you're gonna do and you wanna look into that, before going out there, make sure you read all the rules and regulations on how to access the land and how to properly take advantage of the program. So now that we've looked over the Kansas website, let's bounce over to gohut.com and look at all the details and important notes inside the Insider program. So if you just hover over the Insider tab when you're logged in and scroll down to state rules and regs, this is a great place to start. It'll give you a menu of the different states they offer and just simply go down and click Kansas. So we're gonna just go over some of the important dates, some of the prices and other things that are important for you to know before you get started. All right guys, so this page right here is a great place to start to learn important information and dates like I said. So first thing we can look at is license costs. So if you're gonna apply out of state as a non-resident in Kansas, your hunting license first is gonna be $97.50. And like I said, if you are going to hunt um, deer like we were last year and that we hope to do again this year, you will have to pay for the deer permit fee. So deer permit, non-resident, $442.50. So just to recap that, you will pay the $97.50 for your hunting license so you can apply, and only if you draw the tag will you be charged the $442.50. There are other hunting opportunities available in Kansas. Uh, for example, they do offer over-the-counter archery antelope permit, so if you're looking to do that, it's a great state to look into. 
But again, we're just going to kind of focus on the white-tailed deer because that's what we go to Kansas for, and I'm sure a lot of you guys would like to do the same. All right, scrolling down on this page, you got some important dates to remember. And one reason why we're putting this video up first over other states is because their application deadline is April 26th, so it's coming up soon. You want to make sure you get your application in before April 26th, and you can do that online on their website. Another thing to look forward to, which is always fun, is the results. If you look right here, there's non-resident deer permit drawing results is going to come out in mid-May. So what's nice is you apply at the end of April, in only two to three weeks you're going to know if you draw or not, and that way you can prepare for your hunt ahead of time. So as you scroll down, you can see there's some quick rules to look over, like the minimum age to hunt. Uh, youth is 12 to 15 years old, and they may hunt without adult supervision with the exception of the youth only seasons where adult supervision is required. So again, just some important bullet points to look over right here on this page uh, in the Go Hunt website in the Insider membership. So getting a tag, how do you get a tag? Well, you got a couple options. Draw a tag in the public draw, which is what we will be doing and applying for a whitetail hunt this year. You can purchase a leftover tag if available. And obviously, like I said earlier, there's over the counter archery antelope for non-residents only. So again, if you are non-resident and you want to hunt antelope in Kansas, it's a great place to start. Kansas does utilize a preference point system, which means it rewards the people with the highest points first. A lot of states are like that, but as you guys may learn through this process and the series that we're doing um, on Go Hunt, you'll see that some states do not offer preference points, but Kansas does. All right, guys, now that we went over the Kansas website and how to apply, we're gonna jump back over to Go Hunt and look at the filtering 2.0 Okay, we're going to use the filtering 2.0 uh, to just kind of show you some examples of what personally I will be looking for since I have zero points and what units are available to me and what my odds are of drawing. So I'm simply going to click white tailed deer and as that happens you can see it auto generates all the different units across the state. Surprisingly Kansas for being the size of it is it looks like there's 18 units within the state um, all of them which will give you a description of the terrain the territory access private land access etc and i'll show you that just over here so on the right side we're just going to do a quick filter so personally i'm looking for any trophy potential white-tailed deer anything over 150 inches would be great for me so i'm a non-resident we're just going to use a drop down menu to click non-resident the points are already at zero and that's where i'm at because i did draw last year and uh, we're just going to choose archery as my choice uh, what's funny here guys watch this I told you guys earlier that there is not a lot of public land in the state. So if you use this toolbar right here and just slide it over to maybe three or 4% and let it generate, you can see just how many units fall off the map and how much smaller your options get just by doing 3%. Again, if you scroll over to 4%, they all go away. So as you can see, there is not a ton of public land. So again, going back to the walk-in access program, either leasing land or looking into an outfitter would be a good start. But if we scroll this back over to say zero to 1%, you can see that some of the units pop back up. So if you're looking to do a true, like do it yourself hunt, you're definitely gonna wanna look into the walk-in access program. All right, another thing to point out is there's a couple ways to kind of look at your draw odds. As I scroll through these list of units, Let's just take unit five for example. Again, it's 1.05% public land. And if you scroll down to your draw odds, which I have zero points, I do have a 96% chance of drawing. So I'm most likely gonna draw that tag. So there's basically two simple ways to look at your draw odds. Simply you can scroll through these as I'm doing right here. You could see unit seven, I have a 93% to draw odds. So there's actually some really good non-resident archery whitetail hunts in the state of Kansas. Now, if you wanted to get in more depth, you can simply hover over the Insider tab and use the Draw Odds feature. So now we're gonna dive into some unit specifics. Since we've already used Unit 5, you're just gonna simply click either on the map on the Unit 5, and it's gonna pull up all the specifics, the overview and snapshot. So there's so much great information on this page with uh, statistics on general size, trophy potential, and one thing that's really good to look at is the moon phase. A lot of people hunt on the moon phase, and if you scroll over to like say the month of November, if, if, which is most likely one of the months you're gonna go hunt, you could see the historic temperature, the historical precipitation and everything 
right there with graphs and charts available for you. So let's slide on down to the archery non-resident graph. There's some really good information here that you guys might want to dig into. So as you can see right here on the archery non-resident graph, there is a tag allocation chart and also number of deer harvested right next to it. So you can kind of see what, what the potential is and what the harvest percentage is. And scrolling down again, what's really cool about hunting Kansas out of state on a lot of these units with zero points on unit five, I have 96% chance to draw with one point, two points, et cetera, it's 100% draw. So it's really cool that they added Kansas to the Insider Program just earlier this month. So this is the first time we've really dove in and taken a closer look at it. So for those of you who are actually looking to hunt whitetails in Kansas or even other species, this is a great tool to dive in to see how you can get started and what's available. Again, one of the hurdles is gonna be access. So Go Hunt has plans to launch Washington State later this month, which is before their application deadline. And if you guys have already seen some of our other videos, you've already seen there's so many Western states that are within the Insider program. So as you guys know, we have been hunting out of state a lot more. I'd say probably the last few years, we've really been digging into applying out of state, getting more opportunities. So if you guys want to find how you can get out of state and get more opportunity to go do these hunts, some of which we do, on our channel, check out the Go Hunt Insider program. Use the code HUSH, get a $50 in store credit for new gear. And guys, I'm telling you, we have a lot of hunts lined up. This has become a great tool for us to apply for more hunts this season. We've got a great series coming up for you guys. Again, if you haven't seen the other videos we did on how to hunt out of state, go check them out on our channel. Make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.